out. Welcome to Chipmunk Chatter Farmstead. Today I'm dealing with wormy cabbage. It's the, almost the first of July here and I mean I've had cabbage worms the last two weeks eating holes through my cabbage. Probably because I've been, uh, what do you call it, working on that Prius, smelling my own farts as they would say, trying to get a super efficient system, functional, well, anyway, my cabbage got damaged because of it. So today, we're going to harvest the ears that are ready to harvest. Lot of damage. Um, there's holes everywhere in here. So, what I was recommended to do was to soak it in water, completely submerged for at least 10 minutes, so these little things can die and float to the bottom or top or wherever. Um, I'm gonna turn this into sauerkraut because I can't store this um, like it is. It's only good for about making sauerkraut. doing here is I'm just some of these haven't fully closed yet um, so I'm leaving them I'm only picking the ones that are fully closed this is about four and a half to five pounds for this head that's not bad. Um, and just the only issue is lots of, I don't know if you can see it right there, the little worms, their little satchels, and then more of them, and then more of them. And I mean, I didn't know that I was supposed to plant thyme every other one of these. So thyme and then cabbage and then thyme and then cabbage and then thyme and then cabbage and that's supposed to keep all these away but I didn't know it until just now so I'm gonna try to salvage what I can here This one even had a slug on it. So it's not just the worms to worry about, but the slugs. So yeah, it just, it is what it is. I'll get what I can harvest it. Well, let's show you the, the next process. I got here is a simple bucket. Um, put the cabbage in. Still getting used to the tripod. But anyway, this is supposed to 
drown whatever bug is in there. Hopefully getting them out of the cabin. I'm a little doubtful. They might. I'm going to uh, turn them and soak them. Turn them some more and soak them. And hopefully full can be so. I actually might just like put something down in there to just kind of hold the cabbage down under the water. It's all that larva and worms and won't have anywhere to go. Anyway, as far as making kraut, my wife will have to do that video. I just doing my best to prepare things for her. Um, so basically I'm taking some firewood I'm just setting down on top of things here just to get this at least an inch below the water because we don't want any of those worms to to survive and thrive and in fact I'm, I'm a little leery of turning it into kraut with all the worms hey we even got one we got a floater we got a floater let me take this off of here and show you guys this method see look at that that, that old nasty bug created such a problem for me. And there's another one right there that's, that's on the side of the, the film. There, there's some of them still holding on. Like that, there's the, those eggs right there. Those, those larvae are trying to float up to the surface. Yeah. Yep, there's, they said 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it 10 minutes, rinse them really good, and then come back, fill it up again, leave it another 10 minutes, rinse it really good, and repeat the process till, till I'm not seeing anything coming off or out. And hopefully that'll turn the cabbage as much as possible to get anything in there, wedged in there, out of there hopefully if not well I've never I guess I'm gonna have to research wormy wormy sauerkraut cabbage can I can I harvest wormy sauerkraut cabbage um, or eat it or or use it or you know I you know what did they do hundreds of years ago you know when they just had cabbage you know growing bugs eating it and everything what did they do back then? You know? Anyway. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you will. Leave a comment below if you have any advice or tips for me of how to do this job. And maybe how to prevent slugs from getting in. I know someone was telling me beer um, and thyme. But it's better to talk to a living person, you know? So leave a comment below. Thank you.